next. It's a lightweight title fight between Rafael Dos Anjos and Conor McGregor. Ready to go to battle. He is the challenger as they battle for the UFC Lightweight Championship. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. determined to become the new UFC champion. making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Rafael Dos Anjos looking to defend his UFC lightweight championship. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. McGregor is 27, Dos Anjos is 31. The rest is virtually identical. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! I'm out for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Holding professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a level of the line of presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Hapaya. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. Rafael Dos Anjos. Connor McGregor. Here we go. Tonight's main event of the evening is scheduled for five five minute rounds. White trunks for McGregor. Black trunks for the champion. Joe, with his excellent wrestling background, I would expect him to look to take this fight to the ground. And we know he's got some fierce ground impact. Oh, 
Even I saw that one coming. That was a brutal right leg kick, Mike. He's got some outstanding kicks. Nice shot. Both men landing in that exchange. Oh, huge suplex. Oh, this is a very dangerous position for his opponent. Dos Anjos goes into North South. Under three on the clock, round one. Now to full guard. Those Anjos with a good punch. He's got that arm trap. Excellent movement here on the ground. Ah, oh, that's an outstanding transition. He moved into full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. In the full guard here. Good punch. And now he's back in full guard. Nicely done, he's in half guard. He's trying to go after an arm here. He's got the arm here, now he's gonna throw his leg over. It looks like he's got that armbar locked in tight. And he escaped the armbar. Throws a hammer at him. Big front kick. Nice Nicely front kick. done. Those Andros with a hook to the body. Big takedown late in the round. Nice sweep. He's moving into full mount. He has a huge elbow to the head. He establishes back control. Half guard. What a way to work at the finish of this round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. And here's a big suplex. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And let's check that out from a different angle. The lovely Brittany getting a set for round number two. Set for round two. Lightweight title fight. Joe, just like we saw in the last one, the champion so far is the better fighter. He is dictating where this fight takes place. And once again, he looks sensational. Oh, oh head kick to kick. That's a big hook. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, solid jab. on their feet. Not a chance on that one. Those feints are the key to a strike center. Nice double leg. He's looking to pass here, Joe. That eye is going to be grotesque. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. He blocks the hammer fist. What a huge right hand. Right hand. Brutal ground and pass. Trying to take the back here. And he's back up again. Oh, 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 oh. He tagged him. He tagged him. He's hurt bad. The champ is in big trouble. Could this be it? Could we have a new champion? Beautiful body shot there, too. Big takedown.
Half guard. Now he's in full guard. Big punch from the bottom. Back up. And the kick lands. They are exchanging here, Mike. Oh, yeah, what a big shoot! on the clock here. Really good movement on the ground. McGregor with a nice knee to the bottom. He got the clinch. They separate. Trying to take him down again. And down again. And the round comes to a close. And what a statement he made with that takedown. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Here's a nice double leg takedown. Here's another look at it here. And here's a perfectly executed single leg takedown. Amazing highlights from that round. The lovely Ariani here tonight inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. This championship fight. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Dos Anjos gets hit with that body kick. Caught him with a punch. Knee to the body by the champ. Flying knee attempts. Huge inside leg kick. Powerful jab. Oh, huge kicks. Oh, and another jab. Big shot. Nice combination. He hurt him with that punch from the clinch. Hard straight punch. to time a straight right. I like how he mixes that up, Mike. I, I just think that's, it's, there's so many more options. You know, Joe Vision has to have become a concern because both of his eyes are starting to swell very badly now. Inside leg kick lands. McGregor with a good knee to the bottom. Nice body shot. Both men exchanging. Got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Oh! Solid straight left. That's a big right hand. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Back and forth battle. Trying to go to the body. Connor McGregor with a vicious leg kick. Huge block. That was a big kick to the body. And he parries that shot. Missed on the takedown attempt. Oh! He's landing some excellent kicks here. Look at this. Back to his feet. Oh! Solid straight left. Big combination. Oh, stunning jab. Big straight punch. Oh, he's landing. Final 
final seconds of round number three. That's got him, and he's down. Into the round. And that was a huge takedown that will score points. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Incredible striking on display in that round. Ariane helping us get set for round number four. Are you ready? Are you ready? Championship round. Round four underway. Uncharted territory for a lot of these top contenders, but a place where this champion has fought many times before. What a difference, a five-round fight. This is when many times it just comes down to who wants it more. Big shot to the liver, he's and stunned, he's, he's hurt. Body shot, he's down. Oh, oh, big right hand clipped him. Joey's got one leg free. He's in half guard now. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. He's got the over under. He's switching to the arm bar. Wants to get that leg across his opponent's face. He wants to lean back and break that arm free. Oh, oh that's nasty. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. We got him. Brilliant. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take a look at the setup here. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Rafael Dos Anjos. Rafael Dos Anjos remains the UFC lightweight champion.